Hey everyone, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and as you know, I'm a car enthusiast. I enjoy all cars no matter what they run on, and I know that's hard for a lot of you to understand, but to break it down, it means I don't care what it's powered by, whether it's gas, electricity, urine, vegetable oil from behind a McDonald's at night when no one sees you, or some hydrogen fuel cell nonsense that some people still think is going to be a thing. So just another casual reminder, I own and love my gas-powered cars as well as EVs. Believe it or not, yes, you could love both. And you're going to see some more gas content on the channel. And I know that may have upset many of you, but the good thing is for your Tesla how-tos, fixes, and repairs, you can subscribe to the Electrified Garage channel on YouTube. Or you can go into YouTube and just type in the word Tesla because it's federally mandated that every time someone buys a Tesla, surprises their girlfriend with one, gets it delivered, goes on a road trip, has a bad delivery experience, makes a prediction, falls asleep while driving, falls asleep while going through a drive through gives their opinion on 10 things they hate about their car, or crashes their car due to unintended acceleration, they are required to put it on YouTube. So it's all there for you to complain about someone else's free content. But they're all methods that passionate or dispassionate Tesla owners communicate. They build websites like, I love my Tesla so much, I made a website dedicated to it.com. Then you can also use it as a place to coordinate car shows that happen to be dead silent. Now making this page was super simple because I just used Squarespace. It's so easy to claim a domain or URL like www.wait, you still haven't listened to me and made a website devoted to Tesla or anything that you're passionate about.com or better yet, www.mycar is an extension of me and my love for tech and the planet, but the two aren't really a good pairing. So write a bike, you hippie.com. So then you can create a custom site that matches your style. Check out these page templates because they'll make your web page look better than you pretending to be an environmentalist driving a $100,000 car instead of a bike when you work from home anyways. Head to www.squarespace.com slash richfreebuild to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code in the description box below. And shout out to Squarespace for making platforms for people's passions, even if they're confusing. Now, last month, I wanted to see what all the hype was all about, and I drove a Performance Model 3, and I was very impressed. Well, my daughter wasn't impressed, but I was. All right, guys, we're going to do this in a second, all right? You're going to feel the acceleration of this car. It is so crazy. You ready? I don't think it is. Ready? I don't think so. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Yep. One, two, three, go. Isn't that crazy? That's it! I mean, that's it. I like the Model 3 just fine, but one of the things I don't like about Teslas in general is that you can't give them any more power. You could put all the garnish you want on your plate, but that still doesn't hide the fact that you don't have any more meat. Meaning you can lower them, put the stickiest tires on them, and wrap the car whatever color you want. I have news for you. It's not any more powerful than it was before. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. The only way to get more power out of the car is if you wait for Tesla to say, you know what, your car can be fast now. Remember, I'm a big performance guy, so I'm used to a world where if you buy a car, you have control over it. You determine when that car will be faster. Now, for example, I have a new gas car that I'll be unveiling later that I could easily add a few modifications to that makes it much faster when I get bored of the power. I also have a Corvette Z06 with stock made 505 horsepower, but I've always wanted the ZR1, which makes 638 horsepower, but it costs $30,000 more. Now, I didn't want to sell my car and take the $10,000 appreciation hit and then pay an additional 30 grand for a new car, making my total price out of pocket 40 grand. So instead, I decided to add heads, cam intake, exhaust, and get to the power levels of the ZR1 and save myself about $30,000 without getting General Motors involved. Now, if you're scared of more power and you've ever said the words, well, I think my car is fast enough, go ahead and click on the I want my mommy button, which sends you directly to the Disney Channel. Now, today, we're going to have a long range all wheel drive Model 3. It has a 0 to 60 time that Tesla advertised about four and a half seconds. Some people have seen as low as 4.4 in that trim. And with a performance upgrade from Tesla for $2,000, you can get it down to the 4.4 to about 3.9. Now, my friend is too cheap to pay for that, and he's all about bang for the buck. But as of right now, his car will not be any faster than 3.9. Now, let's get into his car and verify how fast his car is. We're going to look at the MCU screen, and we're going to confirm that this is, in fact, a, um, you know, a standard car. And our performance car, we'll do some 0 to 60 testing to see how much performance bump we could get out of this upgrade. All right, so we're plugging the draggy in. Obviously, I didn't charge the draggy, so it's flashing red. 
but I'm gonna plug it into uh, the USB ports underneath here. And hopefully that gives me some juice. That should be good for now. I'm gonna put it on the dashboard and we're gonna go for a cruise. So now we're gonna go for it, we're on the highway. We're gonna do a quick pull. This is the, uh, the Model 3 we're in right here. It's got the draggy in my hand and then whenever heat's ready to go, we'll do it. 30, 60. Uh, 0 to 30 in 2.4 60 foot 2.37 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and what we'll do is we'll do another run on the way back just to confirm like we're good both ways wind direction and all that stuff and then we'll be uh we should be good to go now out of the nine runs the best we got was 4.4 seconds verified by the draggy now my friend realized unless he pays two grand a tesla his car isn't getting any faster so after the crushing disappointment settles in, to maintain interest in the vehicle, he will wrap it, lower it, and put new wheels on it. But hold on, don't wrap it yet. It's not a lost cause. Enter Electrified Garage to the rescue. Now, we've been working very hard in the background on something very cool with a company called Nginx based out of Quebec to bring you all staged upgrades for the Model 3s. Now, we've been doing some extensive testing, and we decided to introduce something called the Ghost Model 3. Now, stage one of the Ghost upgrade, you can reduce your 0 to 60 time from about 4.4 seconds to about the 3.9 to 3.8 range, which also includes drift mode to disable the traction control system. Stage two can reduce your 0 to 60 from 4.4 to about 3.4 to 3.2 seconds, which is what we're going to focus on today in this video. It also includes lap mode, battery pack heating, and stage three, well, that's for later. Before we work on the, the Ghost Model 3, Chris is going to wash his car because he had bird feces all over it. Like he parks under like, I don't even know, like a giant willow tree or something. But before, before we get into that, I wanted to talk about what we're doing with Chris's car. I want to talk about the best car on the planet, all right? This is the, everyone makes fun of this car. These, these three knuckleheads right here make fun of my car all the time. I love my little Prius personally. I think it's great looking. No, it's not fast. No, it's not as fast as actually. Is it faster than your car, it's Chris? It's better looking Prius. Okay, maybe, maybe we should do a draggy video with that. I think I don't know. See I, which one's faster? I would. I think I would take the edge on Chris's car, but I think anything above. I'll tell you uh, what, we'll give you a chance with the snow tires. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, unlike Chris, I have all-wheel drive, but this is going to change in the next coming weeks because we're going to convert Chris's rear-wheel drive car to all-wheel drive and we're going to show you what parts we have to do that process while the ghost model 3 is warming up its battery in there and getting some new features uh we're going to talk about that in a second i like how chris didn't wash the wheels yeah <laughs> yeah even still you got to wash the wheels chris this i mean it is a good looking car i do like the wrap a lot chris if you're going to get a model 3 or if you're going to make you know how i feel about model 3s if you're going to do a model 3 up make sure it looks like chris's car um this, this is a good looking car. However, the better looking car is over here. <laughs> I'll say it again, this is the better, look at this. This is the better looking car. There's gonna be a few videos on, oh wow, on the i8 coming really soon. But the, I mean, look at this thing. Let's focus on this car just for a minute. Man, look at this. I'm not talking myself up, I did a decent job, right? It's decent. I like the black too, because this used, this, you're right, Chad. This used to be a chrome lip. Yeah. Yep. And I yep. think I think making it black and leaving the chrome hardware, I, that was a good choice. I, that was a good choice. I like that. Yeah. yeah. See, Rich makes good choices every once in a while, yep. it's, except for the car itself, because everyone thinks it's a <laughs> Prius, and uh, yeah, whatever. You know, it, it is on a Prius, but you know, it's a nice Prius. Right. Yeah. This is this is a very good looking Prius. Yeah. You know, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> it's funny when you're in EV mode only, it makes a really cool whining. The front motor actually yeah. whines. It sounds really cool. BMW did a great job of pumping fake engine noises into the cabin, uh, as well as outside the car as well. Speaking of fake noises, actually, Chris, you have... Not yet. You don't have it yet? I have it. Oh, let's see. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It is a great looking... I don't think I could get in and out of it, but I love the look of it. Thank you. I and appreciate it. I love it. the wheels that are on it. Thank you. Thank Those it. wheels look awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that, Tom. Look at that. And Tom knows good taste. Tom rides a Harley Davidson, so Tom knows. Now we're gonna go inside and listen to Chris's performance exhaust on his, uh, cause it actually has, there's actually an option to have dual exhaust on one of those cars now. 
<laughs> right? It's crazy. What an electric guy, yeah, dueling dog. It doesn't make any sense. What a world, to, what a time to be alive, huh, Tom? Mm -hmm. Chris has, why is this thing so damn big? It's two, it's two of them. There's two. It's two? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. We got dual. What? Do you have dual exhaust on a Model 3? Oh, yeah. Full race car. Yeah, buddy. Where do these go? Underneath the back bumper. Underneath the back bumper. Two of them? Yep. Yeah. And these actually poke through the belly pan, so you have to do a whole sort of. So it's yeah. actually gonna sound like a real, like yeah, a real car. Like having like dumps on a. <laughs> what? Yeah. You know, I thought you. I thought it was like. I thought it just did it on the inside of the car. I thought no. it was just like a speaker this is system. Outside, you, everybody's gonna hear it. We should uh, wire them up inside and show Rich. Oh my it's gosh. Yeah, we can. We can do a temporary wire. That's that's wild, man. We don't have a throttle to play with, though, unfortunately. Yeah, it, we it can just, it on the app, though, on my phone. Let me plug it into the 400 volt battery. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, really plug it into the battery pack in. itself. Wow, that's loud. That is loud. So that's technically idle. What was yeah. the pin number again? The zero seven. That is. Dude, this is gonna be the the funniest thing ever. Pulling up to a Tesla show, just being like, "Hey, check this out, boys." Wong, 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 bro. <laughs> Z06 sound proud for you, Chris. <laughs> that would be awesome. I don't know if the speakers are strong enough that noise. Alright, we're making sure we're not crazy here. Same car, same car. He doesn't have the performance. Do you have the performance boost? Do you have any um, their upgrades? Do, do, do. It's happened before, didn't it? Well, you know, Tesla's working. There you go, yeah. No acceleration boost. So, we're going to try this out and see uh, see what she does. One, go! That mother f What the f***? <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? Wow. All right. All right. <laughs> shit. What the f*** is this, dude? Yeah, oh, man. All right, one more run back. Yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. This shit, Let's go to get through it again. One, go! See, what we'll do right now, Steven, we're going to get the jump on this guy. The jump? I'm going to cheat. Wow. Uh, because, and here's, <laughs> and here's why. That's going to tell us a lot. Because if, if we get the jump and he's still pulling on us, that means he has a more powerful car than we do. And this is a performance car. As you're looking, dual motor, underlying performance, no VIN number, obviously. But this is a performance car, right? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Flat-footed, 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 and he's passing me. I flat-footed that. Wow. Flat-footed. That car is faster than mine. Bro. The Ghost 3 <laughs> is faster than Room Performance 3. It's got it. What the hell's going on here? I have not been able to beat him yet. Thankfully, this is not my car, because I'd be very angry if I couldn't beat a Ghost Model 3. <laughs> Imagine buying a Performance Model 3 only to get beat by a hacked Ghost Model 3, imagine that. It's not a good feeling. Like my stomach's aching for the owner of this car. Mm. So before you get all poindexter on me, I'm very well aware of the variables of two knuckleheads that don't have perfect reaction time and sync, and the variables of the tie and rim configuration. Even with that factored in, the main point I'm trying to make is it's clear that the Ghost all-wheel drive long range is in fact equal match to the performance Model 3. Now let's take some verified GPS time to make sure I'm not crazy. All right, now we're gonna go for this. Uh, we're gonna do a quick zero to 60 run and see what this thing can do. Let's do it.
All right, so this is the big question now. What actually happened in terms of performance between these two cars? Uh, one has the smaller wheels on it, one has the larger wheels on it, but as you can see in the video, I could not get this car to perform better than the Ghost Model 3. But really the purpose of this video is to show that we can actually upgrade the performance of Model 3s now. It's for a very limited clientele, obviously. It's not for everyone. There's some restrictions on who can have it. But you can actually upgrade the performance of the Model 3, and this is proof of the pudding that that could happen because this car started off as a, a standard long-range Model 3. This one was always a performance Model 3, and now there is similar performance between the two cars. One of the biggest annoyances that I get was when this was shared initially uh, on the Tesla Motors Club uh, forums. There were a lot of crybabies, people warning, saying, eh, I lose my warranty, and eh, I wish it was from Tesla. But they're looking at the small picture here. The big picture you have to look at is just how crazy it is that these cars can now be upgraded outside of tesla you no longer have to wait for tesla to say hey you know what your cars could be faster now you could make that decision yourself and a lot of this happens with other auto manufacturers like you know you the bmw performance line you have the audi s line the rs series uh you have cars like the hellcats and camaros and z06s there's a lot of third-party manufacturers and tuners that make these cars faster that you don't have to wait for for example the the current level z06 that's out right now you don't have to wait until the ZR1 comes out to get better performance. The manufacturer wants you to force you into that. If you have a Model 3 long range that you purchase, and you know what, I really wish I got a better performance bump, even better than what Tesla offers, there is an option for that now. And that's what we're trying to proclaim. That's what we're super excited about. A lot of the basic people and on the simps won't really understand that, unfortunately, but this is a huge step in really cracking the code on these cars and making them more mass adopted and for the tuner series because people like performance cars they want tuning they want to be able to make them faster tweak them and you could tell how this happens by people simply upgrading so many things on these cars like you have new wheels new suspension and a, a wrap job and that's all people are doing right now that's the only thing that you can do to a tesla to increase its performance you can get bigger brakes all you want you can get as bigger tires or sticky your tires all you want you could change the color and wrap it whatever matte color you want but you cannot increase the performance all you can do is wait and pay the two grand of tesla to make your car not as fast as a performance variant but as you can see this car was kicking this performance variant's ass all over the place. But all I'm saying is, I know I've been repeating myself, there is a new option now. I am super excited about this for the adoption of more EVs. These cars are tunable. You can make them quicker. You don't have to wait to manufacture. So enjoy. Let me know what you guys think. I am super excited about this. We're trying to gauge interest. So we're going to have 10 stage ones and 10 stage twos. It's in beta testing right now, just like you are with Tesla's autopilot. And you use that, right? If you're interested, check out the link to the Electrified Garage landing page in the description box below to learn more. And I will see you guys next week with the CyberQuad update that only took 3,985 weeks. And later on, after that, a Model 3 all-wheel drive conversion video. I will see you all soon.